Salutations folks, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we go another week remaining 100% Call of Duty free and we shall stay that way. Anyway, nevertheless, today I wanna to do things a little different. I'm always trying to recommend to you guys games that are cool, and a little underground games, any kind of little thing I can do like that to maybe help you out with your game hunting and playing something a little different than normal. This week I thought I would do the same. And I picked up on the GameCube, Teen Titans. Now, I am not a giant Teen Titans fan, nor do I have any qualms with Teen Titans. I'm just not into it. Anyway, I saw a little snippet somewhere about this game. I don't know what it was. It was a beat em up. It looked appealing to me. So I was at a convention, Southern Fried Gaming Expo, last weekend. Thought I'd pick it up. It's $25, no big deal. Well, that's kind of the point of this video. This isn't a recommendation for Teen Titans. This is a recommendation to stay the hell away from Teen Titans. This game sucks. All right. This is your traditional beat em up. You have the Teen Titans characters. What is there? Three, four, five, five of them. You have Starfire, Beast Boy, Raven, Robin, and who am I forgetting? Cyborg. And. You know throughout the game you can choose between all five of the characters as you go each of them have their own little attributes and abilities you have upgrade ability well upgrade ability that is as you go through the game they unlock skills you know that that kind of measure you can't like get uh, allocate points and all that job and put them to any particular skill they just get the skill as you move on anyway this game just sucks Okay, I don't know if I missed the mark with the game and um, I got the game thinking or didn't realize really so much that it's geared towards kids or maybe it was a budget title and I didn't realize it. I don't know. I just picked it up. I don't even remember when the game originally came out, you know, but it looked cool. So like I said before, I picked it up. There's just nothing about this appealing. The enemies are the same thing over and over and over. And as you go through the different levels of the game, yes, new enemies show up, show up, but they're mixed in with the old enemies. You have three variations of the original enemies you find. You pick up a couple more enemies as you go throughout the game, and they just start to kind of intermingle. Now, is that unlike most games? Not really. It's just this game is just beats the fire out of repetition. Your character itself gets lost a lot amongst the shuffle because they continue to throw a billion things at you at once while you're, uh, you know, fighting. Things just keep coming and coming and coming. The enemies in this game are punch sponges. You know, it just seems like you keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them and then they finally die. There's no real sense of gratification in the game when you do anything. You just... Do it, move on. Do it, move on. The Rose Gallery in which the Teen Titans fight isn't all that amazing. I mean, I wasn't, I just didn't dig it at all. Do I feel like I've been gypped out of my $25? No. I mean, it entertained me enough to, you know, do a little bit on it and tell you people to stay the hell away from it. But nevertheless, it's just not that cool. I mean, the best thing about this game, really, is the artwork. I mean, it's a cool little cover. I dig it. I am a DC fan. I dig DC stuff. So I thought I would give it a try. I went through all the characters. Every character in this game does something different. But I kept finding myself coming back to Robin. Because he was just the most balanced all the way around. But, guys, it just sucks. I mean, really, it just sucks. Don't Don't play it. If you're just collecting GameCube games and you just want another one to put in the pile, yeah, pick it up for 20 bucks. I mean, I've played worse, but um, yeah, just just don't get it. I'll have better vids for you guys up soon. You know, I'm working on a couple other games that are actually worth playing, but uh, I just thought I would throw this one in there of one that's not worth playing. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.